So when benzene is treated with concentrated H2SO4, this gives sulfonated benzene. This reaction is again an electrophilic aromatic substitution. Basically, a hydrogen is replaced by a SO3H group. So, hydrogen is replaced by SO3H group. Now, from experiment, it is found that if in place of concentrated sulfuric acid, we take a mixture of concentrated sulfuric acid plus SO3, rate of sulfonation increases. Now, this mixture that is a mixture of H2SO4 plus SO3 this is called oleum and sometimes this is also written as H2S2O7. So, what is oleum? It is a mixture of H2SO4 and free SO3. Now, from experiment it is found that rate of sulfonation increases If we use oleum, in place of concentrated sulfuric acid, and this suggests SO3 is the electrophile in this reaction. So, this experimental fact suggests SO3 is the electrophile electrophile and this is because in this reaction that is electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction attack of electrophile is the RDS. So, SO3 must be in the RDS. So, we can say SO3 is involved in rate determining a step. And in electrophilic aromatic substitution, substitution attack of electrophile is the RDS attack of electrophile is the rate determining a step so now we know SO3 is the electrophile So, let us discuss mechanism of sulfonation. If we take H2S2O7 that is oleum 
we have electrophile and that is SO3 even in case of concentrated H2SO4 we can generate electrophile SO3 so let us show generation of electrophile using H2SO4 so a steps for electrophile generation using H2SO4 once again one molecule of H2SO4 will act as acid and other molecule of H2SO4 will act as base so this is a acid base reaction So let us say this molecule acts as base and this molecule acts as acid. So this will gain H plus and this goes here. So we will have this side OH2 plus oxygen will have a positive formal charge and we will release HSO4 minus. So now we want to generate SO3. So we have to generate SO3 from this molecule. So we have this molecule. Now H2 is a good leaving group. So we can break this bond and at the same time we can break this bond also to generate SO3 and we will have H2O and H plus so we have generated electrophile SO3 using H2SO4 now let us write mechanism a step 1 and a step 2 that is general mechanism for electrophilic aromatic substitutes and the first step is aromaticity loss and the second step is gain of aromaticity so we have benzene ring and we have electrophile SO3 SO3 is electrophile because sulfur can expand it octet because it has d orbital present it has six bonds that is 12 electron it can expand its octet so it can expand it octet because it has d orbital so d orbital is present in sulfur so if I follow the arrow So this bond goes here. So we will have O minus, and this is the sigma complex. This is slower step. And rate determining a step. Now the next step that is gain of aromaticity. A step two. So this is loss of aromaticity. So first step is loss of aromaticity. In the second step, sigma complex will lose H plus. So it can lose H plus to gain aromaticity. and the H plus lost can be trapped by this O minus that is basically intramolecular proton exchange so this part of molecule is losing H plus and this part of the molecule is gaining H plus 
So this is faster step. This is gain of aromaticity. And in this step we have intramolecular proton exchange. So now we have benzene. If this is treated with H2SO4, we will have sulfonated benzene. Basically, sulfonation of benzene is reversible. So, sulfonation of benzene benzene is reversible. And this is because SO3 is a good leaving group. So, why we have reversible? This is because SO3 group is a good leaving group. So let us show potential energy diagram for this reaction. So reaction has two steps and we have one intermediate. So sigma complex is the intermediate. So this is the intermediate. So on the y axis we have potential energy. On the x axis we have reaction progress. So we have one intermediate. So we will have two transition state. So this is the intermediate and this is transition state 1 and this is transition state 2. First step is slow step. So it will have high activation energy and the second step is the fast step. So it will have low activation energy. So in this lecture we discuss about sulfonation of benzene and main point is in this case SO3 acts as an electrophile sulfonation is reversible we can generate electrophile using H2SO4 also SO2 is the SO3 is the electrophile this can be verified if we use oleum rate of reaction increases 